Hey there, Tiana from Mind Body Movement Center. Today I'm gonna take you through four exercises using a TheraBand. So uh, an elastic band. Um, there will be a link for how you can get one if you don't have one. But a lot of people who've been through PT have already got them, so let's put them to use. So these are gonna inc incorporate some shoulder, core, and balance. So let's get started. I've got my band attached. Not everyone has a bar like this, I know. You can attach it to a doorknob. Uh, I'll show you how to do it from this door. So if you take it through the door, around the doorknob, get it above the latch, close it, make sure it shuts. This one isn't going to, so. <laughs> and then you can use that as your anchor. I'm gonna use my bar though. All right. So once you're anchored up, three of them are going to be anchored and one is going to be connected to your body. So feet are about hip width apart. When I say that, your hip bones are right here. You're going to be in a little bit of a squat, so you want that little separation of the feet. Go ahead and spread out your toes to the best of their ability. Land them back down. All right. So we want a little tuck of the bum. You don't want to be super arched. And holding the straps, you're going to pull with one arm back, almost to like your back pocket, and then forward. Then switch sides. Every time you're doing an exhale, shoulder blades back and down. All right, got the movement down. I'm going to start to count. We're going to go 10 on each side. Just follow with me. If you like to count on your own, go for it. Exhale, exhale, keep that nice good posture, shoulder blades back and down. And three more, nine, and ten, last one. If you ever want more resistance, you can just hook a little bit deeper into your strap or use a different color, right? The lighter colors are less challenging the darker colors are more challenging all right so we keep that there i'm going to turn and face you now so my right hand is anchored and holding the left one is up take a little bit wider stance maybe 11 and 1 10 and 2 a little bit of a knee bend drop the shoulders and then we're going to draw that one out and open you'll see i keep a big y or y a w position there and slowly back as I turn or as I open up, I'm going to turn my head and then bring it back to center. Join me now if you haven't already. It's an exhale as you turn. Again, slight drawing into the navel center as you make that exhale. We're going for 10. If the head turn isn't happening today, or make sure you just keep a straight gaze right forward. The head turns can help with challenging. Three, two, and one. Good, come on back through. We switch it up, so sorry for turning my back to you, but that's how it has to be. So we take that same position, drop the shoulders. You're now anchoring with the left and your right is the mover. Exhale. Good, so 10. So that left one has to work too to keep you holding there isometrically while the right one does the movement. Navel center draws in on the exhale. Three, two, if you're ever ahead or behind me, one, that's okay. Just get there. <laughs> we'll all meet at the end. We're all going to the finish line together. All right, roll out the shoulders this next one is a balance one so you'll have that anchor you're going to be standing on one leg don't pull back on it i'll show you what it will look like in case you don't want to use the resistance you're standing on one leg the arms are out in front you can even be tippy toe down or lift the arms are going to head one direction your body stays the same to center other direction and then back to center 
All right, you'll notice I'm not connecting that foot to the leg. It's separated. The hips stay level. The trunk stays level. All right, join me if you'd like again. We're going to go five on one leg and then switch five on the other leg. So standing on one leg, toes are spread, land them. Exhale, we shift arms to one side and then back to center and then to the other. I find it definitely more challenging with the resistance because it wants to pull you even more. Two more on this leg. Keep breathing. Again, you can always be toe tapped down to the floor. Last one. All right, come back, give it a roll out, a shake out, and then off to the other side. So spread those toes, kind of get centered up with your um, band if you're using it, and then decide how much weight you're going to support yourself with. Whatever you're doing is more than you do on your own, right? So give yourself some credit, some credit for showing up today. Good, two more, you got this. Feel free to go without the band. Last one. And if you're finding your balance is really, really challenged, you can always have your back to the wall and just uh, have it there for some support and practice this version. Okay, this last one is behind the back. So a bra, bra line or nipple line. Got it kind of secured back there. We're going to come out to a much wider stance, kind of like goddess pose legs. So this is a chest press uh, with a punch. <laughs> so you're going to work your legs at the same time, like you're sitting on a high stool. You're going to punch across. So the palm goes down, punch across, exhale, pull it back. Palm comes back, exhale kind of palms facing each other when they come back. Join me now if you haven't already. Again, going to 10, each side. Two more, you got this. Last one. All right, and relax, roll it out, shake it out. We're going to go through that whole round two more times. Yes, because we get to. <laughs> because we get to. All right, so join me at that first one. We did that alternating pull. So you're back at your doorway or your bar. <laughs> Everyone would be so lucky to have a bar. I understand it's not working all that well. If you have an exercise bike, it could attach to that. Lots of things in your house I'm sure you can find. All right, here we go. Feet about hip width, spread the toes, land down in a little bit of a squat, and we're pulling one side and then the other. Exhale, shoulders back and down. Again, we got 10 on deck, each side. Halfway there, keep going, you got this. We can always do smaller ranges, bigger's not better. Three more. Resist the, resist the rotation, that's what this is. Last one. All right, relax your shoulders, shake them out if you need to, little shoulder rolls. All right, we've got that rotational one now. So your right arm perhaps is the anchor, whatever one you choose to start. You're holding it in kind of an isometric hold out at an angle. And the other sweeping out and Let's see, exhale. <laughs> Give it a try, either one. I just hope that you're breathing. I like that exhale to turn. That'll help engage the abdominals. So you're drawing the navel center inward. Shoulder blade coming back and down. Head turn is optional. Bigger is not better. Make it smaller if it needs to be. Three, two, whew, feeling it now. One, gonna come back to center. Let's switch sides. All right, finding your position again. 
not super wide in that stance. Anchor that left arm, and the right arm does the work. Open, head turn, optional. Exhale. Shoulder blade coming back and down, keeping it engaged the whole time. Halfway there. You got this. Two more. Last one. Great. Come on back to center, shake it out. Again, you have choice of that resistance to hold it closer in to make it tighter, farther out to lessen the resistance. Let's head into that balance with or without the band next to a wall or without. So standing on one foot, get a little bit of knee bend there. Choose the option of how much resistance or how much support you're going to use with that other leg. And then we start the rotation. And exhale to turn. You're resisting the rotation in your torso. Two more on this leg. That's two more each side. <laughs> Last one. All right. Set it down. Wiggle it out. Roll the shoulders. Stretch the neck. All right. Other side. So plant down on that foot. Spread the toes to the best of their ability. I like to recommend doing stuff in barefoot if you can. Understand that sometimes we need support from our feet. Barefoot just lets your little muscles of your feet and ankles work. Here we go. Exhale. Good. Last one all the way through. All right. Wonderful. Love that one for knee injuries, ankle injuries. Works your core, your shoulders. Actually, all of these are quite a bit of everything. That's why I chose them. More bang for your buck. All right, let's take that to the upper back. Spread the legs. 11 and 2. 11 and 2. <laughs> if you want to be uneven. 10 and 2, 11 and 1. Sit it down into that high goddess pose, and we're going to punch. Palm goes down and across. We're going to exhale, punch. 10 each side. More than halfway. Two more. Last one. All right, not too bad, right? We only got one more round. Yes, we get to here. Have the opportunity. Let's take it. All right, so let's start at that first one. Feet about hip width. Feet straight forward if possible. Spread the toes. Land all parts of the foot down. Slight bend in the knee. It's an exhale. One arm pulls and then back. Opposite switch. Keep switching. Ten on each. Watch those shoulders wanting to creep as you're fatiguing. And you're locked in the lower abdominal. Each exhale is an opportunity to draw the navel center inward. Three more on each. Last one. All right, check it out. We got the rotations coming up next. So find your anchor. You're anchored there. Legs are not as wide as that last goddess pose and not as narrow as what we just did, but angled outward. Slight bend in the knee, anchor with that right arm so the left one can do the work. Exhale, head turn is optional. You feel that little pull or drawing in of the left side of the body as you pull it open. Shoulder blade is drawing back like you're trying to squeeze it towards the center line. Three, two, you may be ahead or behind. Just get there. We're all heading to the end. We all finish. Nobody gets left behind. All right. 
Sorry for the back body. <laughs> Find the positioning of the legs. Anchor that left arm. The right arm is doing most of the work. <laughs> left one's still working. Again, exhale. Good, halfway. You can always make this slower to slow down the head turns too. Two, last one. All right, and relax, roll out the shoulders. All right, we've got that balance one next. So decide if you're gonna go anchored or not anchored and if you're gonna have the wall behind you or not. So plant that foot, spread those toes, land on a slightly bent knee, decide how much support you're gonna give that left leg. Here we go, it's a rotation, back to center, rotation, back to center. Resist the turn of the body. Good, last one if you're on my count. Land back down, give it a shake, get to five, which, wherever you are. All right, let's land on the next foot. When you're ready, spread those toes. Decide how much support that other leg gets. Here we go. Two more. Last one. All right, give it a shake, get to five. Doesn't matter if you're behind or ahead. Okay, last one. Woo -hoo. Let's take it to the back body. Find your wide distance of the series. That high goddess pose. Try not to tuck your tailbone under sitting back like you're sitting in a high stool. Here we go, 10 on deck. Exhale as you punch. Resist the turn of the body. Halfway there. Two more. And all right, let's go ahead and keep that strap. We'll do a few stretches to finish up here. Doesn't matter where your feet are, just comfortable. You can even sit, so we're taking it up and back and around if it's available. If all the way around the band is stretchy, so it will give you a little bit more leeway than if you used a strap. You can always stop halfway too. All right, let's take that strap either back behind you with the thumbs facing up, or you can clasp your hands if that's available, and send the hands down and away from the body. Body stays nice and tall. Away from your body as much as you can, but without leaning in. The strap can be, uh, or band can be an assist if your hands don't reach each other comfortably. Three, two, one and relax. Go ahead and set that off to the side. Let's take a one last stretch here. So either eagle arms, um, not eagle arms, yes, eagle arms, coming in here, or if that's not available in this lifetime or today, do a simple crossover. I like to grab with the elbow. You can also grab with the hand. Wherever you've chosen, your shoulder blades are heading to the back wall. So try not to hunch forward with this. It's a spreading action that's happening. If you're in this aversion, you can try to exhale, round down, bow the head, and inhale, draw up, open up the chest, maybe look up. Last time. All right, and release. So we're switching arms, whichever one was not on top, switch it around. If you get there and you feel like, hmm, I think I did this one, 
<laughs> you're not alone. Go ahead and switch. Here we go. So you're either in this bound version or a simple crossover. Draw the shoulders back no matter where you are so you're not hunched forward. Good. If you're in this bound version and you want to join me for an exhale, you can even do it. If you're not, if you don't want to do bound, you can come like this and then press out. Exhaling and inhaling. All right, and open up, release. All right, there you go. Come back to this, review it again and again. Keep working and see how you improve. See you next time. Peace in.